Hello there and welcome to Luminar Neo All Sliders Explained, the show where we describe and explain you every single slider in this powerful photo editing application. Now if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors and I'm a creator and founder of Clever Photographer. Now before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, we're going to give you our own and very popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. So stay until the end so you can get your own copy. The second, if you want to follow us along, make sure you head into the description, follow the link there and get your sample files before we're going to start. If you don't own Luminar Neo, you can also follow the link in the description and use our own discount code Clever Photographer. That way you get additional 20% off and you can get your own copy. And finally, we want to ask you to like and comment on our videos and also follow our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video tutorial, we're going to be looking at the second module here in Luminar Neo and that's the presets module. Previously known as templates or maybe also presets, here in Luminar Neo, that's the home of all the different presets that you can use to quickly get some starting point or inspiration for your image editing. During this tutorial, we will look at all the different sliders and buttons in the presets module. And we will also review some of the built-in presets that come with Luminar Neo. I will also show you how you can create your own presets, how you can share them. And at the end of the video, I will show you how you can import presets from somebody else. So we are once again in Luminar Neo and we are already in the presets module. How to navigate to the presets module? You can use the button on the top of your screen and it's the button in between the catalog and edit module. From here, you can navigate, for example, into the catalog. And if you want to come back, you can either use the button or you can simply hit T on your keyboard and that will bring you back to the presets. Now the T, again, standing for templates using some of the shortcuts from the past versions of Luminar. First, let's start by looking at the overall screen so we understand what we're working with. On the top of it, again, you have the navigation where you can move between the different modules. After that, we have the export option and there's a little button in the top right corner. If you want to learn more about exporting from Luminar Neo, we have a full tutorial about it and it should be on your top right corner right now. What we have next? Next, we have the preset suggestion. It's called for this photo. And depending on what photo you have, Luminar Neo uses its AI and choose some of the presets it thinks that would be the best for this specific image. You can move between the suggestions and at the moment we are looking at the actual collections. So for example, we are looking at the portrait image here and it thinks that it would be very good with the monochrome presets. So when we click on the collection, it opens up and it actually shows us the different presets. Now we will come back to the built-in presets in a moment. So let's just jump back and continue with the screen. The next option after for this photo, we have the purchase option. And this is where you can add your purchase presets when you buy them from Skyloom. The way to do this, you just click on add button, then you locate the presets, click on open, and they will be added into the application. And the following section of our toolbar will show you all the preset collections that are in Luminar Neo. They are divided between different sections and you have the essentials, landscape, portrait, and so on. When we scroll all the way down, we have some additional options here. We have the blue button called Get More Presets. And when you click on it, it will navigate you to Skyloom website where you can buy some additional presets. The final option on our toolbar is called All Categories. And this is where you can quickly navigate between the different preset collections. So for example, you can click on the Mother Nature and that will just open the collections that are part of the Mother Nature collection. Again, we can come back and for example, click on Portrait and that will show you all the different presets that are ideal for portrait editing. So we can close this and we can continue. So now we know the top bar, we know the export, we know our toolbar, and the final option here is pretty much similar to the edit panel. However, let's see what we have here. So we have this little eye icon, which is used to see the before and after. And you will see me using it when we're gonna be applying the different presets. After that, we have the zoom option. We can click on the little arrow. And as you can see, we have some of the zoom presets here. We also have the fit to screen option, which is what we're looking at right now. The final option here, it's called actions. And when you click on it, there are two options. They are both grayed out. However, there is a reason for it. We have the river to original and it's grayed out because the image wasn't edited yet. 
and we have save as preset. And again, similarly, it's grayed out as we haven't made any edit to it, so we cannot save a preset of any edit. However, again, we will use both of these as we go on and try some of the presets. So this was the presets module screen, and now I think it's a good idea to try some of the built-in presets in Luminar Neo. So for this, we need to come out of this and scroll with our toolbar all the way up. Again, let's start by using some of this suggestion and the suggested collections. So for this, we are in our for this photo. And again, it's suggesting us to use the monochrome collection, experimental collection, or essence collection. So let's try something. Let's go into the monochrome. And from here, we simply click on one of the presets. So let's have a look at the elegant matte. So that looks all right. I'm not crazy about the matte in her face. However, it's a good starting point. Let's have a look at the soulful. Now that is very, very good as well. We can also try the film grain or even the lighthouse. So depending what you're looking for, if you're looking for some inspiration, those are good starting points. Now let's jump back and let's see if we can maybe try some of the other collections. Let's try the experimental collection. I really, really like this one. My favorite is the burn film. When we apply that, it not only adds a preset, but it also adds an overlay to it. And I think that looks very, very cool. Also, the celebrate looks quite nice. So let's try that. Or let's try the glow. So that is also very, very cool. I really like that. Now, coming back and let's try the last suggestion, which is called essence. And with the essence, we can try the still frame, marquee, or even the fashionista. So now, since we have applied the preset to it, we made an edit we can go ahead and try to revert to original option. So basically we apply something to the image. We're not really happy with it and we want to reset the edit. So for this, we're going to come down to our actions button. We click on the little arrow and we click on revert to original. This way it resets the edit and we can start from the beginning. What I really like was the experimental collection. So let's find it out and let's click on the burn film. I think that was really cool or even the glow was really cool. But let's start with the burn film. Now, what we can do here, once again, the preset doesn't have to be the final product. It can be your starting point. So for that, you need to actually go ahead and make your own edit to it. And now with the new versions of Luminar Neo, you can actually do it. So we have applied our preset and now we can move into the edit panel. So let's click on the little edit button on the top of our screen. And as you can see in our edits tab on the main toolbar, we can see all the different tools that were used to create this preset. So we can click on that and we can go through all the different tools and make any adjustments we want to it. So for example, we can go into the mood tool and see what they used here, burn film. Now, what about if I want this effect to be stronger? I can simply push the amount slider and see what I really like, or I can also bring it down and maybe leave it to something like this. It really is up to us. After that, I can maybe check the super contrast and see if I wanna push the highlights even further and maybe add a little bit of mid-tones. It's completely up to you. The artistic decision is totally yours. After when you finish with it, you can just come back to the tools and that's that. This preset is also using layers. So as you can see here in the layers panel, we have the original image and the little texture on the top of it. So when we click on the layer, now we can go ahead and we can actually move the layer around. We can also flip it and see what we like the most. Now, if we happy with this, what we can do now, we can actually save it as our own preset. So how are we gonna do this? We simply go into our actions on the bottom of the screen and click on save as preset. What that does, it brings us to the presets module it open my presets folder and it creates the preset here. Now it's waiting for the name. So this, what we say is experimental adjusted. Once we happy with the name, we just hit enter. So now we can come back and once again, review our main toolbar. Until now, we have the suggested collections, we have a purchase and we have our presets. But now we got a new folder, which is called my presets. And this is where all your presets are going to go. Now, as we are already here, let's talk about some of the settings and options here. When we hover over the preset, we get this little heart and we also get the three dots. So let's click on the three dots. And inside of the three dots, we have a three option. You can rename your preset, you can delete it, and you can also show it in a finder. So let's try the rename first. And you can simply adjust the name. So experimental new. 
And once you're happy, you just hit enter. After that, of course, you can delete the preset. I don't need to show you that. And you can also show the preset in a finder, which is great because now we can share our presets and we can also bring presets from somebody else. And in a moment, I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we're going to do that, I want to come back to our heart icon here, because when you click on it and come back to your main presets toolbar, you will get another folder, which at the moment is called favorites. And this is where all your favorite presets are going to go. So this is really cool when you get a big library of presets and you can't really remember which one you like the most. You can just add the heart to them and they will be added to this favorite section. So now you know how to create your own preset and you also know how to add it to your favorites folder. So let's go back, click on the presets and we are in our main toolbar. Now we can click on our main presets and from here again, we're going to hover over the preset. At the end of the line, there are three dots. We click on them and we click on show in finder. Now this is going to bring us into the explorer of finder where the presets are stored. Now, as you can see, we are in a luminar new folders. We are in the presets. We are in our user presets. And this is how the preset in Luminar Neo looks. It has this little format called LNP, Luminar Neo Presets. And inside of the folder, there are three additional folders, or sometimes even more. You get the icon picture, you get some resources. So this time we have a LUT and a texture, and you have the information about the preset itself. Now, when you want to share the preset, you need to copy the entire folder with the LNP format. So for this, you need to copy this whole thing. Now it has a really crazy name. Let's just make it bigger. And I know there's lots of different letters and numbers, but trust me, that's the way to share it. So you would simply copy this folder and then move it to another computer where you're using Luminar Neo or share it with your friend. Now, since we already here, let's see how we would add an additional preset from somebody else here. Maybe you bought it, maybe it's from your friend or it's from another computer. So for this, we're going to bring in our sample files. And I just want to remind you that if you want to follow me along on your own computer and do the edit, all you need to do is to jump into the video description, follow the link there and download the sample files right now. Once you have them inside of your folder will be the presets folder. So you will open that. And there will be two LNP folders here. So as you can see, we copy and pasting the full LNP folder with all the different numbers and the different names. So we select both of them. We hit Command or Control C to copy them. Then we come back into our Users folder and we paste them into the Users folder. So again, we do Command or Control V. Now once they're here, we can close this folder. We can close the sample files. And what we need to do for them to show up here, we need to actually reset the Luminar Neo. So as you can see, I'm back in our presets module. The Luminar Neo is reset. And if we done everything right, our new presets should be in my presets. So let's open the folder and let's see, we have the two presets here. Now these are our presets from our Luminar Neo power bundle. And if you want to find out more about it, make sure you follow the link in the description and learn more about this great bundle, which is full of different presets, textures, skies, overlays, and so on. But for now, let's try it. So we try the first preset, and those are the editorial presets. So they're not maybe necessarily ready for this image. However, they are great for your editorial images. Finally, we have our own preset, which we can really simply apply and create a great effect like this. Now we have almost everything covered, and the last thing I want to do is to go through the right click. So when we right click on the image in the presets module, we have these options. We have our set flag option when we can choose between favorite, reject and unmark. This is a way of how you can sort your images so you know which one you prefer. Then we have the export option, which is very similar to our export button in the top right corner of the screen. After that, we have the share option. You can share the image by using mail, messages or the connect app. The next option here is the open in. You can open this image in Aurora HDR, Photoshop, Elements, Lightroom or Photos. From one of our viewers, I know that this option isn't yet available in Windows version of the Luminar Neo. However, it works on Mac, so I will still mention it. The next option here is called Go To. You can go to the images from the same date. It will bring you into the catalog module and show you all the images that were captured on the same date. You can also create album with this image and you can move the image to the Luminar trash. Finally, we have the show in finder and when you click on that, it will show you where is this image located on your hard drive. 
So there you have it, this is the presets module. It can be a lot of fun and again, great way to start your edit and get inspired of what you can do with your image. What you can do here, you can go and create your own preset or you can use one of the many built-in presets that comes with Luminar Neo. When you do the editing, you can then jump into the edit module and do some additional edits to it so the picture looks more like your style. When you're ready to push everything forward, you can create your own presets you can share them, you can get some more presets in, and you can also create your favorites folder, just like you can see on the screen, where you can add your favorite presets so you can find them quickly and quickly apply them to your favorite images. So now it's time to get your own Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. All you have to do is to head to our website, cleverphotographer.com slash luminargift and get it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a fun and I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to follow our channel and also check out our other videos covering Luminar Neo. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next one.